Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use nested case statement in Looker or Data Studio. So as you can see here in my table I have the column named as sales performance but if I'll show you the raw data I do not have any column over here named as sales performance. So this sales performance was created using the calculated field with the help of nested case statement. So this nested case statement is used to create more complex branching logic. So let's take an example and understand about it first. So suppose you have a very complex logic but I'm taking some sort of simple branching logic. So, so for example let's take an assumption that if the sales target for category 1 and 2 is a certain value then we have to give the rating whether it's poor, good or excellent while for a certain category suppose category 3 4 5 we have a different value okay so if we see over here we can see that for category 1 and 2 if the sales is below 350 then the outcome will be poor while for category 3 4 5 if the sales is below 200 then it will be poor so you can see in category 1 2 for being poor you have to have a value below 350 while for 3, 4 and 5 category you have to be below 200 to be in poor category. Similarly for category 1 and 2 if your sales is above 350 and below 700 then the outcome will be good. While in category 3, 4, 5 if your sales is above 200 and below 500 then it will be good. And the last condition that we have for category 1 and category 2 is that if the sales is above 700 then it will be excellent while in category 3, 4, 5 if the sales is above 500 then the outcome will be excellent. So there is a branching that needs to be done to create the logic right. So we have to create logic in different branches. So the first stage will be saying that if the category is 1 or 2 or it is 3, 4, 5. If it is 1 or 2, then if the sales is 350, then it's poor. If sales is between 350 to 700, then good. If sales is between 700 or above 700, then it's excellent. Then there is another branch that will be opened and it will say that if category is 3, 4, 5 and the sales is below 200, then it's poor. If the sales is above 200 and between 500, then its outcome will be good. So this is the sort of flow of the branch logic that we will be implementing in this video with the help of case statement within a calculated field and we are also going to create this table as well as this graph okay now before we go and use this nested case statement let's understand about this nested case statements a little first so a nested case statement is a conditional statement which evaluates a list of condition and returns the first matching result expression so basically case defines one or more condition and returns a result when a condition is met we can also define a default result if none of the condition conditions are met so over here you can see that in my syntax i have not given the else statement but the else is an optional clause which basically specifies a default result. This else will return if none of the win clauses are true. And if a case expression has no else clause and none of the conditions are true then the statement will return null or your output will have null value in it. Okay. So what we are going to do over here is that we are going to create the calculated field using this nested case statement. And to do that, first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on this edit button and I'm going to add a new page over here by clicking on page and new page. So let me go to page one and copy the headers first. And let's put it over here in the empty canvas. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to first replicate this table over here. Okay. In order to replicate that table we have to create the calculated field and in order to create a calculated field you have two options either you can create a calculated field 
within your data over here or you can create a calculated field in your metric section of the visualization visit so first let add a table so i'm going to add a simple pivot table over here the moment you will select a pivot table you will see that the looker has taken a default data set for this report you can change your default data set by coming to the setup section click on this data source and select any other data source based on your requirement but for me i'll keep this data source that i have which is gts67 now what i'm going to do is that i am going to select this table and keep this category in row dimension this region column i'll be removing it from column dimension and this record count i will be removing it okay what i need to do is that i need to create a sales performance column based on the values of this sold quantity and based on this category okay so this was the condition that we had so keep this condition in your mind and let's create the calculated field in our data to create a calculated field i'll click on add a field first then i'm going to give the name so the name will be sales performance underscore version one okay now i'm going to give the first case statement here saying that case when over here in this second line of when i'm going to give the first condition where i'll be putting saying that the category should be in one or two okay so i'm going to give when category column is equal to either category one or category two if the category is one or two then go to the next branching of the case statement by saying case when my quantity sold column is less than equal to 350 then put the value poor i'm just going to copy this statement again paste it over here and saying that when quantity sold is greater than equal to 350 and less than equal to so quantity sold less than equal to 700 then put it as good then again a condition saying that when quantity sold is greater than equal to 701 then put the sales performance version 1 as excellent now this is the first branch of our case statement within this branch we have this branch okay now when this branch ends then we have to give the end statement saying that this branch ends over here so this is a first branch within this specific branch okay now we are going to give a another when statement saying that when my category is either three or four or five then put another case statement saying that when quantity sold is less than 200 then put the value as poor so i'm just going to copy this again and put the next line saying that when quantity is greater than equal to 200 and quantity sold quantity sold is less than equal to 500 then we have to give the value as good and the last statement that we are going to give is if quantity sold is 
greater than equal to 501 then put the value as excellent then we have to end this branch over here and let me reorganize this end okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to end this last case statement or the first case statement that we have opened so the first case statement that we opened was this one then we opened this case statement then we opened this case statement so this case statement ends on line number 7 this case statement ends on line number 13 while we have not ended this case statement we have not closed it yet so if we put end over here then you will see that this error that was appearing over here has been gone and you can see over here that the formula syntax is valid now if I click on save and then if I click on finish then you will see that you have a new column over here named as sales performance underscore version 1. Now in column dimension I can take this sales performance and put it over here and the moment Looker will start reflecting the data but this data doesn't seems equal to this data right. The reason being is that we had taken this says performance version 1 in our column dimension but we have taken record count in metric section so instead of record count over here in page 1 you will see that we have taken this unit price okay so in this table also I'm just gonna take the unit price and replace it on place of this record count so now you have the values over here okay now if we talk about this graph that we had created over here we can replicate this graph by clicking on add a chart and take this stacked bar chart and put it over here so by default looker has taken the category as dimension and metric as unit price and the breakout dimension as sales performance version 1 but suppose if sales performance version 1 was not taken down over here then what you can do is that you can simply take the new column that you had created and put it over here in breakdown dimension so as we have successfully applied and used the nested case statement in our calculated field to create a new dimension you might have a question in your mind that how does this nested case statement works right so a case begins with the case keyword and ends with the end keyword in between you will have a number of clauses so the clauses like when clause then clause that i have shown you over here this is the when clause and this is the then clause so when clause is used for a condition you want to evaluate then clause is used to return the result set and the else statement is optional which basically returns if none of the value or none of the conditions are true so this is how basically you can use nested case statement in looker with a calculated field happy learning and see you in the next video